History is often written on land, but much of it is decided at sea, on the decks of ships that shape the fate of nations. These vessels are more than just boats. They're floating cities and mobile fortresses, projecting power and protecting trade across the globe. From wooden galleons to today's steel giants, control of the oceans has meant control of destiny. The work to keep these ships running is dirty and demanding, but it's defined empires and secured peace for centuries. Ships are the backbone of global commerce and military power, moving armies, protecting trade, and responding to crises worldwide. A naval fleet's presence can calm tensions or send a message without firing a shot. Behind every ship is a team of welders, engineers, and technicians working tirelessly to keep these machines alive and ready. Their efforts ensure that when the call comes, the ship is ready to answer. These are the invisible heroes, their work echoing in the hum of engines and the strength of the hull. When we talk about a new ship, especially a supercarrier, we're talking about a legacy of hard work and innovation. These ships are tools that shape the future, protect lives, and maintain a delicate balance of power. They're a tribute to those who design, build, and sail them into harm's way. The Quiet Guardians, always sailing just over the horizon. Why build a supercarrier? Because the world is vast, unpredictable, and sometimes dangerous. America's interests and allies span the globe, and sometimes you need to show up, fast. A supercarrier is a four-and-a-half-acre piece of sovereign territory that can move anywhere on the world's oceans. It's a floating airbase, command center, and symbol of commitment. In disaster zones, it brings supplies, medical aid, and hope when airports and roads are gone. In crises, its presence offshore sends a powerful, silent message. We're watching. Supercarriers are about self-reliance. No need for foreign bases or permissions. They bring their own runway, fuel, repair shops, and defenses, ready to operate anywhere. This independence means the U.S. Navy can protect shipping, support allies, and respond to threats, no matter what. Building a supercarrier is a long-term investment in security, designed to serve for 50 years. It's about protecting trade, deterring aggression, and providing humanitarian aid for generations. The world will change, but the need for a strong, mobile naval presence will remain. It's a tough, expensive job, but it's indispensable. Supercarriers ensure America has the tools to keep the peace. Meet the latest Ford-class supercarrier, a ship redesigned from the keel up. It may look familiar, but the real innovations are inside. Engineers reimagined every job, from launching planes to cooking meals, to make the ship more efficient and lethal. The island, the command tower, is smaller and set further back, opening up the flight deck for faster aircraft operations. This means more planes in the air, more quickly. A massive operational advantage. Advanced weapons elevators deliver bombs and missiles directly to the flight deck, speeding up rearming and boosting safety. Every minute saved means more jets in the sky, ready for action. Building this ship took years of labor from thousands of skilled workers. Every wire, pipe, and system was installed with precision in a sprawling shipyard. The result? A floating city, stronger and smarter than anything before it. This new supercarrier is a testament to human ingenuity and teamwork. It's ready for the challenges of the modern world. The next era of naval power has arrived. What powers a 100,000-ton supercarrier? Two next-generation nuclear reactors. These compact, efficient reactors let the ship operate for over 25 years without refueling. That's a quarter century of global reach, generating enough electricity to power a small city. The reactors do more than turn propellers. They power everything on board, from lights to combat systems. The new electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMAILS, uses magnetic fields to launch jets, replacing old steam catapults. EMAILS is cleaner, more efficient, and more reliable, giving the carrier a technological edge. The ship's surplus electrical power is ready for future tech, like lasers and railguns. Designers built this power plant for the challenges of 2050 and beyond. Operating a nuclear reactor at sea is demanding, requiring highly trained, disciplined sailors. Their expertise keeps the floating power plant running safely, day in and day out. It's a tough, unseen job, but it's the ship's beating heart. Limitless energy makes everything else possible. This is the ultimate power source for the ultimate warship. The future of naval propulsion is here. 
A carrier's true strength is its air wing, the dozens of advanced aircraft it carries. The F-35C Lightning II brings stealth, intelligence, and precision strike capability, extending the carrier's reach for hundreds of miles. Alongside are F-A-18 Super Hornets, versatile workhorses for air combat, ground attack, and refueling. EA-18G Growlers jam enemy radar, protecting the strike fighters. The E-2D Advanced Hawkeye provides early warning, detecting threats from hundreds of miles away. Helicopters handle search and rescue, anti-submarine warfare, and logistics. Every aircraft has a vital role, forming a symphony of technology and teamwork. The flight deck crew manages controlled chaos, launching and recovering planes in one of the world's most dangerous jobs. Their skill transforms the carrier into a formidable instrument of air power. Wherever it sails, the sky is full of firepower. A supercarrier is a prime target, so it's protected by layers of advanced defenses. The outer shield starts with the E-2D Hawkeye and fighter jets, intercepting threats far from the ship. Powerful radars, like the dual-band radar, scan sea and sky, tracking countless targets with precision. Data flows to the combat center, guiding defensive weapons. The ship's arsenal includes evolved Sea Sparrow missiles and Phalanx Gatling guns, last-ditch guardians against missiles and small boats. But the carrier never fights alone. It's the centerpiece of a carrier strike group. Escort ships with Aegis combat systems create a nearly impenetrable protective bubble. This team effort makes the carrier one of the most survivable warships ever built. Strength comes from integration, steel, silicon, and teamwork. The result, a floating fortress ready for any threat. A new supercarrier doesn't just add to the fleet. It shifts the balance of power at sea. Adversaries must rethink their strategies. The game has changed. Stealth aircraft, advanced sensors, and efficient flight decks mean more combat power, faster and safer. Fewer crew and lower maintenance mean longer deployments and greater global presence. The Ford class sets new standards, driving modernization across the Navy and Allied fleets. It's a catalyst for technological advancement and strategic alignment among partners. The ship maintains America's decisive edge as rivals develop their own carriers and weapons. The Ford class is a leap forward, ensuring U.S. naval dominance for decades. It's a massive, complex tool that reshapes the strategic landscape. The tides of naval warfare continue to flow in America's favor. With this new supercarrier, the U.S. is preparing for an uncertain, complex future. No one knows what challenges lie ahead, but having the right tools matters. This ship is more than a weapon. It's a versatile platform for combat, relief, and deterrence. It's a commitment to give sailors the best, safest equipment possible. The Ford class is designed to win battles and protect those who serve. As global challenges evolve, the need for a strong, flexible Navy grows. The oceans are the lifeblood of the global economy and security. This supercarrier is the cornerstone of American power and stability. It's a long-term investment in peace and readiness. Built by ingenuity and hard work, it stands ready for its watch. The U.S. Navy is prepared for anything, today and for decades to come.